yeah, that's how you can do it. My friends, is how you play Among Us. All you gotta do is get 25 million subscribers, then you bribe your way to the top. Let go. You know, he dropped out of college to focus on YouTube full time. He performs as a DJ under the name Rinx. And he's one of the biggest YouTube creators that Canada has ever seen. What's going on, Pro Guys family? I'm your motivation guy. And today, we're gonna be taking a look at Vanoss Gaming and how he's managed to forge a YouTube career spanning almost over a decade and over 25 million subscribers. So how did this YouTuber start off as a Call of Duty troller to become the single biggest gaming YouTuber that Canada has ever produced? Most of the YouTubers that make it big in the gaming scene have some sort of deep relationship with gaming that can be traced back to the earliest years. But that's not the case for Vanos. He didn't start playing games until he was 15 years old. His parents thought that the pastime was more of a waste of time. Before that point, his life was that of a typical Torontonian. He played the guitar, he studied hard at school, and he played a whole lot of ice hockey. Vanoss' introduction to gaming was nowhere close to the usual introduction a 15-year-old teen would get. He didn't start playing Call of Duty or GTA immediately. Instead, he started off with games that most of us have probably never even heard of, Freddy Fish and Pajama Sam. Both of these game series are classic point-and-click adventures developed by Humongous Entertainment, and while they were both massive franchises when they were released, that actually happened almost 30 years ago. It says to find Grandma Grouper's treasure chest, go to the volcano. I'm gonna be rich when I find that treasure. Why were these Vanos' first games? Who knows? Vanos didn't stick to these point and click adventures forever though. They just opened the door to a much bigger hobby. Shortly after being introduced to the world of gaming, he discovered the world of YouTube gaming videos. He was hooked. But because his parents had him locked down so heavily into his schoolwork and extracurricular activities, he didn't have the chance to get into the YouTube game straight away. That wouldn't happen until later, when he had already started college studying economics. The day was September 15, 2011. He no longer lived at home with his mom and dad, and so no longer was his parents pushing him to focus on his studies or his sports every waking second. That meant that he could experiment a little bit and he decided that experimentation would be through uploading his very own YouTube content. That wasn't to say that he wasn't letting his parents influence him at all, though. When it came to naming his channel, Vanaz had a lot of things that he could choose from. In the end, he decided to take the name from his dad, who had named his own PlayStation account Vanaz62. In the rare times that he did get to play some video games at home, he would use his dad's account and so it was only natural progression that he would claim the name for himself when it came to YouTube. My name's Iron Wildcat and welcome to Jackass! Woohoo! Oh man! <laughs> when it comes to Vanoss' early history on YouTube, a lot of his content has been lost in time. The first video that we can find by Vanoss was uploaded on November the 1st, 2011, and it was called Official Robert Bowling Epic Remix. The Prestige Shop by Banos Gaming. But it was deleted a while ago, and the only reason why we know it exists is because of the Wayback Machine. If you look at his channel now, you think his first video was actually uploaded on the 27th of June 2012, over a half a year later. In other words, there's over seven months of Vanos content that's completely unaccounted for. Either way, it seems like one thing stayed consistent throughout his time. Vanos was making a pretty unique form of content, and it helped his channel explode in popularity incredibly quickly. All right, you're gonna try to throw your C4 on the yellow sign, okay? Try to throw your C4 on the yellow sign, go. All right, that was a little too high, go get it. Try again. <laughs> <laughs> you bag him, you bag him. The first video still live on his channel is a song created by remixing a video by the Call of Duty YouTuber White Boy Sevens, and at this point has almost 5 million views. It was an incredibly early viral hit, and looking at all the views those early videos have, it's pretty clear that it wasn't just a one off. It doesn't matter what your name is. It doesn't matter. matter, matter. Vanoss made his early career as a Call of Duty YouTuber. 
he pivoted from making those interesting song edits to making funny moment montages, sometimes branching out to other games like Minecraft, Saints Row 4, and Gmod. Knowledge. Ah, what the <laughs> man? Man, I just got my knowledge. Yeah, look at all that knowledge. His consistent upload schedule, rainbow style thumbnails, and heavily optimized titles dragged people in at a rapid pace, and his early rise was meteoric. It wasn't just the consistency that did it, though. Vanaz has always been known for his connections with other YouTubers. His personal fandom, Wiki, is even called Vanaz and Friends, showing how important the rest of his crew is both to him and his community. He scored the internet for freshly started gaming channels that he thought that he would get along with and found a group of friends that he would start to make montages with. <laughs> but you know what I like more than this Lamborghini? Knowledge. From H20 Delirious to Mini Lad, Vanaz has made content with a ton of other YouTubers, and this supercharged his growth on the platform. That growth came with consequences for the rest of his life. His videos were taking up more and more time, and his college degree was only beginning to get more intense. He had to make a decision. Would he follow the path that his parents wanted for him to finish his degree in economics and go off and get a job in some fancy company? Or would he strike out on his own and plug even more time into the hobby that was quickly becoming a career? I mean, look at his channel. What choice do you think Vanos made? That's right, he dropped out of college and started taking YouTube content creation even more seriously. At first, his parents were furious. They had worked hard to mold him into the perfect student and only wanted him to succeed in life. Vanos knew that he could make YouTube work, but even he wasn't expecting his channel to grow as quick as it then started to. When Vanos made the choice to pursue YouTube as a full-time career, his channel had rocketed up to 300,000 subscribers. It was April 2013, around a year and a half after he started making YouTube videos, when that milestone was hit. Over the course of a year and a half, his channel would grow at almost unthinkable levels, rocketing up to 2 million subscribers by the end of October this same year, a milestone that he commemorated by releasing a Black Ops 2 Best Moments montage that now has over 30 million views. Oh god, did Oh, he just, just jumped on us! He just yeah, jumped he just on, us. on us. I don't know what's going on, but I think someone has stepped on me. <laughs> oh, 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 my god. Oh, 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 my god. No way. No way he didn't see me. Oh, there's no way. Oh, 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 my god. But there was a worry ahead. Banos had kickstarted his early career primarily through making videos with his friends on Call of Duty Black Ops 2. The next game that would be released in the Call of Duty franchise was Ghost. And as everyone knows now, that game was considered by most people to be pretty awful. Views were down across the board, and if Vanos wanted to keep up the incredible growth that he had been seeing over the first two years of his career, he needed to figure out something new. Yes, we have to create world peace. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fortunately, a new game had come out that would spur Vanos' content onto even greater heights, GTA V. Vanos' most loved content had always revolved around the videos that he made alongside his friends, and the new Grand Theft Auto was a multiplayer sandbox like no other. One that would allow Vanos and his crew to goof off in ways that they never would have been able to do in the strict PvP formula of a Call of Duty game. After branching out to Grand Theft Auto, the floodgates had been opened. More and more people were finding his channel, and he was able to try other more sandboxy games like Gary's Mod which also brought him to an unbelievable level of success. Late 2013 marked the start of Vanos' golden age, and it was a time where he was pulling in even more views than YouTube giants like PewDiePie. These days, he doesn't upload many GTA videos anymore. It's Bane from the really bad Batman, the one with Mr. Freeze. He's got my content gun. Hey man, maybe he's trying to make a YouTube channel himself. He's more of a variety channel, uploading funny moments from a wide variety of games. His views are also nowhere near as high as they used to be, with each video only pulling in a couple million views as opposed to the tens of millions that his channel used to pull in. Though, with over 25 million subscribers under his belt to this day, it's not like his channel is ever going to die out completely. Being a massive YouTuber with such a rapid, crazy rise to fame comes with a few benefits outside of the immediate YouTube gaming space. And for Vanos, that came in three different forms. He helped develop a video game, he made an animated series of videos for YouTube Red, and he started his very own music career. Alongside Sean Anners and Tom Syndicate, Vanos worked as one of three creative directors for a game known as Dead Realm. 
One, two, three. It was a horror-style game developed for PC in which one player would take the role of a ghost while the other players would be humans who would try to run and hide from the ghost. It was released into early access in 2015 before eventually being fully released in 2017. Though the game never really took off beyond a couple thousand players at peak, eventually it was shut down in August 2020. Vanoss YouTube Red Cartoon dubbed Paranormal Action Squad did it fare much better. Manos, we have to talk. Written by Michael Rowe, who had previously worked on shows like Futurama and Family Guy, and starring Vanos, Sean Anners, and Mark Sark, the show only ran for eight episodes in total. As expected from a show called Paranormal Action Squad, it featured the main characters fighting off all kinds of strange supernatural entities. Fans and critics alike gave mixed reviews, and eventually the show was never picked up for a second season. While Vanoss' first two projects didn't quite work out as well as he might have liked, his music career has been a much bigger success. Music has been a constant throughout Vanoss' life. When he was still living with his parents, he learned how to play the guitar. When he first started making YouTube videos, it was through musical remixes of popular content creators. It kind of makes sense that Rinks, his musical alias, would be his biggest off-brand success story. Van Oz, as Rinks, released his first single back in 2017. It was a remix of the song You Write by a group called They. The remix was received incredibly well, and at this point, the official video on his Rinks YouTube channel has almost 26 million views, which is pretty impressive for a debut release. His actual first single, however, was called Want You, and featured a lesser known artist called Miranda Glory. Once again, this track was received incredibly well and it looked like Vanoss' music career was off to a flying start. It was clear that Rinx wasn't Vanoss' main project. New tracks were sporadic and only seemed to happen once every few months. He wouldn't release a debut album until October 2019 called In Pieces. Honestly, you might not expect it from a guy who got his fame from goofing around on video games with his friends. Yeah! <laughs> Nailed it. Good sacrifice. <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> but all of Van Oz's Rinks music drips with professionalism, and honestly, the tracks are pretty good. He was meant to go on tour last year. But essentially, I'm gonna have to postpone all the shows except for the one that's happening in LA. As you guys know, I've been working real hard, you know, 20 hours a day, barely sleeping, and uh, that's all good, you know, that's my decision. However, um, it's, first of all, it's been screwing over my health. So that was Vanoss. He started off as a Canadian kid with barely any clue as to what a video game even was. He got his hands on with some really weird classics and played his dad's PlayStation when he had the chance. The rest of his time was dedicated to school, music, and ice hockey. But when he broke off in his own to go to college, he started to experiment with YouTube and a legend of the gaming consecration was born. Also, remember Pro Guys family, if you guys enjoyed the video, then don't forget to leave a like, sub to the channel, so you guys can get notified whenever we upload a new video. You guys take care, I'll see you soon.